What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Um, I already got done with the Microsoft one. Um, uh, actually, kind of recap the EA. I'm going to do the EA. Um, uh, I decided to do it. Fuck it. Because the, the conference short, both EA and Ubisoft are really short, so I'm I'm gonna go through it. Plus, anyway, this this shit. I'm gonna say it as bluntly as I can. The shit was garbage. Garbage. I'm, I wrote down some of the games that they talked about. You know, or they they gave a whole bunch of behind the scenes crap. Um, they did show Dragon Age Inquisition gameplay. I will give them credit for that. Um, they showed some stuff about Mass Effect. Uh, that was already um that you know, they were they were working on it. Now that's confirmed they're working on the games behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I guess. I mean, but no gameplay. Not even a little, just a little trailer. You just play the trailer. I don't like trailer, but at that point, you know, you don't have a build. Just just do a trailer. You could just did a trailer with them talking. Uh, didn't do didn't do that. They bring in next game, Sims fucking four. I'm gonna make this video as short as possible. They they brought in Sims four. I don't really care. They, I understand yo Sims has an appeal. Women love it. Uh, you know whoever loves it. Um, really don't care. But EA makes a lot of money off the of Sims, so of course they they gonna release like 15 expansions for it. Just wait, they're gonna release like 15 expansions for it. Um, next is UFC. Actually looks okay. I'll give them that. Um, they shut off Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee's. Uh, if you uh, pre-order the game now, you get Bruce Lee, so that you know they're gonna show that off. A lot of people are gonna get it because Bruce Lee's in it. I mean, he's an icon. Um, one thing I do want to know that they didn't mention was was it gonna have like a creative character where you can like go through you know the UFC ranks with a creative character? I might get it just for that, but. Other than that, they didn't announce that. They did show some gameplay, some little gameplay they did show. Um, no, well, they actually did show like a whole, you know, full match. Um, Bruce Lee versus BJ Penn. No, that was the. No, that's what they showed with the gameplay. NHL 15 announced that. You know, a lot of the sports stuff. Uh, I don't play really none of the sports games. We don't play that many sports games. Um, they show. They show NFL 15. I apologize. Uh, just. You know, it's mad. Let's call it Mad Fifteen. Um, who cares? I mean, you play Madden, you bought the last Madden. You're probably gonna buy this Madden. They're not gonna get new people to buy Madden. The people that bought the last Madden are the people that's gonna buy this Madden. No new people. Um, the really the only thing I did like, um, Criterion didn't get any gameplay, but they oh they showed some pre-alpha stuff, which is very you know very pre pre-alpha. Um. Where it's like a game where it's different vehicles. Now these are the guys who made Burnout. Um, to me, this is the one good thing, probably the best thing in their entire conference. Um, if they're making a new game where it's gonna be different vehicles outside of just cars. You got ATVs. That's all on boats. Uh, I was hearing helicopters, uh, motorcycles, dirt bikes. So that game could turn out pretty good. You know, those guys actually go back to how it was in Burnout. Burnout. Uh, you know, Burnout Revenge. And Burnout Paradise I like, but Burnout Revenge has some uh, stuff that I really, really liked. Um, next show, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, don't care. Uh, next. Um, I'm sorry, I got the two of them mixed up. They show NHL 15, then they show Madden. So this is when they show Madden. Um, for NHL 15, they really didn't show it was just a trailer. The guy talked for about two or three minutes, and that was it. Don't care. Really not a big fan of um, hockey. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna play the game. You know, the after PGA tour they show Madden. Don't care. It's fucking Madden. Um, next they show Dawn Gate, which is a um, a MOBA, which is kind of like a League of Legends. So they're trying to dabble in that because they they see how much League of Legends caught on. You can see what EA's doing. You can, you see what EA is doing. Um, next they show Mirrors is behind the scenes where they were talking about Faith and uh, what they're gonna change her, how, what they're gonna do with it. They showed some uh, pre-built gameplay was like, you know, they did at least they did show that. Um, for one th kind of th something I want to talk about. I did remember seeing, uh, but not during the conference. I did remember seeing something about Battlefront where they were talking about how they made the game. Um, they didn't play that during the E3 the E3 conference, but I do remember seeing that somewhere else. But um, back in Mirror's Edge, they showed some behind-the-scenes developers talking. You know, showed some pre-built gameplay. Um, just some of the combat and whatnot. Game's gonna look great. 
when I finish with it. Um, at, least, at least you know they're working on it. Um, but, you know, it's something I expect. I even talked about it in my um, expectations predictions video. Um, next, FIFA 15. I don't fucking care about it. I don't fucking care about it. Now, I don't remember the last soccer game I played. Now, I understand that they got to do all the sports stuff, but they didn't show much gameplay for any. Yeah, they showed some gameplay for FIFA, but they didn't show much gameplay for almost anything. Um, so, you know, they just, they just got a whole bunch of sports games, and they got games that, that you really wanted to see a lot more behind the scenes stuff. The new Criterion game behind the scenes. Next Mass Effect behind the scenes. Mirror's Edge 2 behind the scenes, where they did show a little gameplay. Um, Battlefront 3, which I didn't see at the conference. I saw it, some, I saw it later. They showed, you know, they didn't show any gameplay for that. But that wasn't in the conference, so I can't. I really want to talk about it. Um, and last, they showed Battlefield Hardline. Um, it was made by, uh, who was it made by? I don't remember. Visceral. Um, visceral games. Um, so, uh, Battlefield 4 uh, came out last year and it came out, it was a mess. Um, this one, you know, they did show gameplay. It was like Cop Survivors. They, they had like, a, I'm assuming, you know, the, cop, the robbers trying to steal money and the, the, um, and the cops trying to stop them. Honestly, it just looked like Battlefield 4 with Cops and Robbers. That's essentially what it is. It's just an expansion. They're going to charge $60. And I damn sure bet you that they come out with a um, season pass or a premium or whatever for this game. And I'm going to avoid it. Fuck this game. Really don't care about it. I mean, yeah, it, it, to me, it should be like. Um, if you play Bad Company 2 and you play the Vietnam DLC, which is what, $20, $25? And that was an expansion, which was pretty much a separate game. That's what this should be. Because it's essentially, looks just like Battlefield 4. It doesn't look any different than Battlefield 4. I mean, you, know, you don't see any upgrades over you know, this over Battlefield 4. What they need to do is, instead of making shit like this, which, you know, the bank robbery stuff, you know, game like Payday do that. It could work, but I don't know. I mean, people are gonna buy it though. I mean, it's Battlefield. But what they should do is make another game like, um, I will say, tw what was it? Uh, Twenty-one forty-two, I believe the, the game. Make another game like that. It will be futuristic. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, you went Bad Company Two. I was more up to this era. Then you got a. Uh, you got Battlefield 3, you got Battlefield 4 with more up to zero. Make something futuristic. I think that would change it up um, in Battlefield. But they're not going to do that. They're going to make this game. Um, the beta people think it came off of PlayStation 4 and I want to say PC. Um, you know, people probably playing it right now. Um, I myself, I got a PC. I haven't even, you know, if it's on PC, I haven't even tried to get the beta. But whatever, um, EA's conference. There are some games I do like that they announced, but I just don't like the way they announced them. Um, so all in all, they, they're honestly the worst conference. Yo, I haven't even done the videos for other one, but just know that 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 any other conference that were shown will not be as bad as this one. And the thing about it, they had a lot to show. They would show gameplay. Um, I gotta stand for Mass Effect. They, they could have showed a trailer and guys talking. Um, but if they would have showed Mirror's Edge 2 gameplay, you know, but, yeah, they did show gameplay. Let me, let me rephrase that. They did show gameplay, but if they would show, you know, they stuck too much on the sports stuff and Sims. And that, that took up the brunt of their conference, which is only an hour long anyway. But all in all, didn't like it. Tell me what you think. Um, if you liked any of the games they announced, you know, like I said, I do. But if you like any of the games they announced, hit me up down in the comment section. Oh, I remember making a video. No NBA Live 15. Thank fucking God. We had enough sports games in that conference. So they didn't talk about that. <sighs> Sigh of relief. Thank you. But um, comment down below. Um, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.